guys, I wanted to start out this video by apologizing for slacking on the um, tutorial post this month. October has just been insane, but next month should be better, hopefully, <laughs> I promise. Uh, we're going to knock a lot of them out today, though. This is the Prima Number no. 4 Round Watercolor Brush, Prima Confections Watercolor Pan, and the Prima Watercolor Paper Pad that you got in this month's box. So. You'll see that it's bound at the top and the bottom, and at first I thought that was a mistake because I don't know a lot about watercolor paper, but it's actually supposed to be that way so it doesn't curl up on you. Um, you can just remove this with like a butter knife, just stick it in and uh, it'll come apart, or a palette knife or anything you've got on hand. Um, I'm going to use one that's already taken out just because that's easier for me. We're just writing a name, so we're not going to do like any big washes or anything like that. Um, you're going to want to have a glass or a jar of water and dip it and add it to your watercolor pan. Don't do it over your paper because it'll get on your paper like it just did. And just take a scrap piece of paper and kind of see if it's where you want it to be. Maybe a little more water. That looks pretty good. I'm making a big mess as I always do. Golly. All right, so you're gonna use the same principle as you do with any other brush or brush pen or anything with um, bristles like this. So you're gonna have a very thin upstroke, light pressure, and then thicker on the downstroke. Looks like I need a little more water. The one thing that I've noticed that's different about watercolor lettering than like a brush pen or whatever, I find myself, myself stopping in the middle of letters, which I don't normally do when I'm using a brush pen, just because you want to adjust your, your paint or I don't know like it'll skip you'll see like this so if I'm using a brush pen it doesn't take me this many strokes just to do an upstroke but I think that's okay as long as the end result is how you want it to be I don't know how people make their watercolor lettering so smooth <laughs> I love these watercolors because they are so pigmented. Like this is a yellow and it shouldn't show up well on camera, but it does because it's so beautifully opaque. I think I need some more water. It's getting a little dry. Sometimes you can even fudge your upstrokes if you're having trouble with them and make it a thin downstroke. Like I've said before, watercolor lettering is not my strong suit, but it's super fun. And there you go. That is all of the Prima stuff that was in this month's Inky Box. Thanks for watching and being patient with me as I get these tutorials out as fast as I can. Have a great day. Bye.